Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bicyc Toasting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to upload a custom world to a Minecraft server. Before we get started, world save location will vary depending on the type of launcher used. For this tutorial, we're going to go over where the official launcher stores the worlds, but launchers like CurseForge will have the saves in different folders. Also, an FTP client is required to transfer files that are over 500 megabytes onto the server. If you do not know how to use an FTP client, I will have a video linked in the description going over how to do so. We first need to zip up the world folder that we're going to be using for this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to just use the regular launcher, which is found in the .minecraft and then saves folder. We're going to right click the world folder and then hover over send to and press compressed zipped folder. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and minimize this and we can log into our Bicyc Toasting games panel and choose our Minecraft server. We will then choose the stop button to stop the server. We can then go to the files tab and we are going to then open up that minimized folder and then we're gonna drag that .zip file that we zipped earlier into the server. Once that's done uploading, we can then right click the world and choose unarchive. Once it's unarchived, we're just going to take note of the name. If it's a complicated name and you need to copy it, we can just right click, choose rename and copy the name. Once we have the name, we can choose the config files drop down menu and choose server properties. We're going to navigate to where it says save file name. And we are either going to paste or type in the save file name from that world folder. Once done so, we can go back to the home tab, start our server, and we'll have uploaded a custom world to our Minecraft server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.